right, everybody. Good afternoon. Happy Easter, if that's something you celebrate. And if it's not, happy Sunday <laughs> or Monday or whatever it is where you are, because I know this can go all over the world. Uh, my name is Terry, and uh, some of you know me as Truth Light, uh, otherwise Terry Gillen. I apologize for my eyes. I've been crying a lot this weekend. Um, I just decided to be really real with you all this week. Um, it's... <clears throat> A, an interesting time. I want to say it's a really difficult time, but I'm going to say it's an interesting time. It's a challenging time. Um, as, as someone who works with people uh, with their spiritual development, that is my whole path. It's here. I'm here to help humanity. I'm here to help the planet. I do that one by one with people via coaching, readings, mediumship, all different kinds of um, services. But um, I also work on a bigger scale where I go into meditation or trance for hours or days at, at sometimes and uh, and help just with the global state of consciousness and assist with happening on the planet. Sometimes I don't even know what it is, uh, but I assist the light. And this is something that maybe a lot of you don't know about me and my work, but a lot of it is done when there's no one else around or I have one or two people that uh, we lovingly refer to as handlers because they come and they take care of my animals while I'm in trance for maybe sometimes up to three days. Um, you know, I get up to use the restroom, take a sip of water, and I go back to trance. And um, big operations that happen on some other level in some other dimension, and it's a little weird to talk about, so I don't very often, but now And uh, I just wanted to be authentic with you all, so um this is me this weekend um i recently just a couple of days ago lost a dog that i'd had for 15 years and forgive the tears but you know what it's time for all of us to be super real with one another um she was she brought great joy into this world and she'll bring great joy to wherever she's at now um i recently found out that a friend of mine has cancer um or it has come back and so we need to deal on that she beat it once she can beat it again right um i am no different than anybody else in this world in that there are things that come up in my day-to-day -day life where it's like ah how do i handle this how do i handle that how do i you know i've got oh crap i forgot to make the barn payment oh i forgot to do this right so we all have this stuff that comes up in life and we tend to put on a face for one another. We tend not to talk about it, and that's okay. We don't really need to talk about it unless we need to talk about it, right? That's why for all of these years, all of these decades, 30 plus years, you don't really hear me come in and, and really talk a whole lot about my personal stuff. But before we start the meditation tonight, because this is where our meditation is going to take us, okay? This is part of the healing we're going to do in tonight's meditation. Um, we need to remember that every single planet or everything every single planet every single person on the planet is going through something right whether they're going through something at that moment or the next moment or three moments from now we're all dealing with stuff and what's happening right now in case you haven't noticed i think most people have but in case you haven't is there is an authentic and fierce uh agenda at play to divide us and when people talk about we need unity we need unity we need unity what I see is that people tend to think that that means that we must all think act and speak the same that's not necessarily what unity means okay to me at least what unity means is that even if you you see things that it, the world should be this way this is what the laws ought to be this is how people ought to behave this is how it should be and i see it from completely a whole different direction which frankly throughout most of my life has been the case <laughs> you know because i work on different realms and i always have um, i have a different perspective but um so i'm practiced at this but most of you are not and so um Unity means I love you, even if you voted for so-and-so or you 
think that this TV show is the best in the world and I think it should be outlawed or, um, you know, I'm a dog person, you're a cat person, <laughs> whatever it might be, right? Um, unity is, I love you. We stand together as human beings for the sake of this planet and everyone on it. We don't feel the need to manipulate and create fear in one another just to get our way. Um, that is what is being targeted right now is getting people pitted against one another. Okay. Uh, to keep the consciousness level down on the planet. Now, our consciousness level, that's a buzzword. Some of you know it, some of you don't. Some of you know what it means. Some of you just really don't think about it much, but you use the words. That's a vibration that we put off, okay? And um, that vibration, if we are coming from a lower consciousness, lower state of consciousness, which is what happens with energies like fear and anger and rage and hate and and disrespect and all these things that are really being pummeled at us right now that brings that vibration down lower and it makes it much harder to heal grow love so what I'm seeking to do with tonight's meditation is to just bring back a calm within because that's what meditation one of the most wonderful things that meditation can do for us is bring a calm within so that as we go through our day-to-day -day lives, we handle things more effectively, okay? And so that's what tonight's meditation is about, is about hoping to bring some unity back, both into our lives, our families, our friendships, our employment, um, our world, right? So everywhere I look this past week, maybe the past two weeks, people are getting fired for no reason. People are having issues with supervisors at work animals are passing away um just there's stuff happening right and so with this meditation every sunday night my goal is for us to unite no matter what our opinions are okay i may not respect someone's opinion but i will fight really hard for their right to have it, okay? And so that's unity, all right? And so we're gonna move into the meditation. I'm sorry for the yickety yakking, but I wanna explain why I look like this. Frankly, I just thought you guys need to see that a spiritual leader, a spiritual teacher who is seeking to make a difference in this world doesn't have to look perfect when they do it. It's what's coming from inside. It's how they're guiding you. It's what they have to offer. It's the love that they bring, okay? And I definitely bring a lot of love for all of you and everyone who's not here, <laughs> okay? And um, no matter what I look like. So I am in my jammies already for the evening and I could have done more makeup and done my hair. And But I want you guys to see that spirituality works no matter what you look like. Okay, meditation works no matter what you look like. You don't have to be perfect to be of service. Okay, so with that, um, I apologize. It's It's gone on a little bit longer than I wanted, but uh, I just needed to say that to people. And I hope that if you like these videos, you'll share them. And uh, I hope that you'll share my website. It's mysticaltruth.com. Uh, I do have a special going on with readings uh, springtime special because I want to be of service. So I've dropped the price from one fifty an hour down to $99 an hour and mediumship, uh, both services. And, um, so just let's, let's all figure out how we can be of service and, and just get it out there. Right. And, uh, with that, how about we all take a nice deep breath, relax and close our eyes as long as you're not operating heavy machinery, as we say every week. <laughs> Um, we're going to just ask that you take maybe three nice deep cleansing breaths and with each one we want to go in through the nose and out through the mouth that does make a difference with every breath in 
We think about the things we love, the things we're grateful for, the things that bring us joy in life. And as we exhale, we breathe that joy out to the rest of the world. We breathe our bliss, our love, our happiness, <clears throat> all of the things that make us feel the best, the most confident. If it's little things, we want to think about those things as we're taking those breaths at the moment. Breathe in joy. Exhale love. And as you exhale love, it can be your love of life. It can be your love for other people, your love for children, your love for uh, just feeling happy love for yourself it doesn't matter love is a beautiful vibration and we just need more of it going out to the world okay so join me in about five more breaths of this and with every breath i hope that your list becomes longer and longer of the things that bring you joy all of the things that have ever made you happy in life. I hope that they're flooding through your mind right now. And as you exhale, exhale that joy out to the rest of the world. And we ask as we're calming our energy and thinking of this joy and love, we ask that the angelic realm Come in close and that they join us in this full meditation. We see this beautiful light coming in. It may be white or iridescent or golden. Everybody tends to see different colors. We ask that light of creation, the angelic realm, those higher enlightened beings to come in close and add to this vibration of love, joy, bliss that we are sending out to the rest of the planet. Clearly my dog, one of my dogs has joined us. And we think of the last time that we laughed, we laughed, that good belly laugh. And we allow ourselves to be in that moment, that joy-filled moment. If there were other people around, we hear their laughs. If not, we just experience our own and how that felt in our belly and sometimes tears rolling down your face as you're laughing so hard. And we, just for the moment, we live in that moment, that memory, and we radiate that joy out all around the planet, all around Mother Earth. And we ask the angels, the enlightened beings, that light of creation, to take this joy and bring it through every molecule of Mother Earth, allowing this vibration to rise and allowing this joy to be out there for any others who need to access it, want to access it. It just makes it easier for them to find that bliss and that joy and that laughter. And as we remember these times when we were laughing so hard or we were watching children play and, and finding great joy in it or playing with our animals or taking a walk in the woods or by the beach, watching a sunset, all of these beautiful things that bring us peace. Take a moment through this meditation now here and allow these moments to become almost a, a collage or a beautiful uh, video in your mind of all of these different moments that you not only remember, but you re-experience in this moment here now. Allowing yourself to feel these things and remember them to the cellular level. 
This helps us bring more moments like that into our life. This helps us raise our own vibration so that we're almost floating through life despite the challenges that may come our way. It allows for much more joy, much more good than bad, much more light than dark, however you'd like to see it or phrase it. And as we do this, we just allow ourselves to be a bit like a cell phone tower where we just radiate out the signal that we're creating within ourselves because this is helpful, not just to us and our neighborhood, or our town, but all the way through the planet, if we will allow ourselves to radiate through the planet, around the planet, out into the ethers. And it can just be an intention as we sit with these times, with these moments, with these memories of love and beauty and joy. We just hold the intention that we share that with anyone or anything who desires more of it in their lives. And so I ask you to just take a few moments and really focus on the moments when you were happiest or the moments that flow through your mind when you think of laughter and love and joy. It may be when you got a certain job or when you were a child and you got a puppy or just all of these wonderful experiences that we've had all throughout our life. And it can even be as we witnessed others. For instance, I witnessed, uh, there is a video, some kind person took a video of my oldest son proposing to his fiance. Ah, more, more tears. See, but this is good because they're tears of joy. And I get to witness that video as many times as I want to play it over and see their happiness. And I can radiate that out. And I can share that with the ethers so that it's there, that, that level of joy, that, that brings us up in vibration. And that's what we share with the world. Breathing in nice and deeply and exhaling out. We're bringing life to our cells. We're bringing oxygen to our blood as we breathe through our nose. That's what that does is it helps bring more oxygen to our blood and to our brain. And as we exhale, it relaxes us and we move more clearly into that place of joy and love, laughter and happiness. And as we bring this forward, forgetting about all the other stuff that seems to be happening currently, when we live in this place of joy in our meditation, it begins to overpower darkness and confusion. It begins to send it out of our lives and we are then better able to assist other people to do the same. So for some people, meditation can be a little difficult or challenging. I would encourage you this week to practice this form of meditation. And if you've had a difficult time quieting your mind and making it clear and no thoughts coming through, then maybe this is a better form of meditation for you because you can allow these beautiful moments to come through. And if, an, if one sneaks through that wasn't so great, just let it go through and, and move on to the next beautiful, joyful moment. Because as so many masters have said in the past, it's almost become a cliche saying, but where in... Where energy goes, ah. <laughs> where your focus goes, energy flows. So if you're focusing on happiness, joy, and uh, love, harmony, laughter, more of that is going to come back into your life. 
and more of it is going to show up in the lives of the people around you just by you being present. So let's this week enjoy this form of meditation just as an experiment to see how your week goes. And I would love to have comments uh, come back and let us know how your week has been going. And I hope that you'll join me next Sunday. And I'm going to bring your awareness now to your physical body. You don't have to open your eyes, though. If you want to continue sitting in this joyful space and allowing this to continue, I encourage you to do that for as long as you feel like this evening. It's only going to make your life better and the world a better place, believe it or not. So we're going to take a few more breaths together in through the nose, all the way down through the center of your body and exhale from, from your abdomen. Thank you for joining me tonight. I encourage you to continue this if you have time this evening. And if you're so inclined, leave us some pictures or some stories about some of the happy, joyful times that have run through your consciousness in this meditation. And let us know how this might affect your week. Uh, as you're going through the week, let us know if you're seeing some differences, okay? And when you are ready to come back, all you need to do is take one nice cleansing breath, relax and open your eyes and be in that moment. But I urge you to stay for a little in a space of joy. We can outweigh the fear, the anger, the confusion that's happening in the world around us. We can outweigh it if we just do enough of this. And that may sound silly to some, but they've actually done experiments that have shown that this does, in fact, work. So I encourage you to live, love, and laugh this week, my friends. And I hope you'll join me next week. It's a beautiful beginning to a brand new week. The sky is the limit. Beyond the sky is the limit. There is no limit. Bring more joy. Bring more happiness. Bring more love into your life and into the world. All right. Enjoy.